every time I go to the mall, to the beach, wherever, I mean, I get, I get the friggin' stare downs all the time. Hey, look at that kid, he's got one leg, you know, and it was just, I just wanted to do something, but you know, I was humbled in crutches. I had one leg at the time, you know, what am I gonna do? They get away with murder, that's it, down there. My son's just lucky he escaped with his life because that type of accident that he was in, they don't live to talk about. You know, we've been looking after them all their lives and then we, they go out to a job and we think that employers, because they're adults and they're businessmen or they're professionals, they'll look after them. Everything happened. Everything has to happen after something. A big accident happens, you know. That's when that's when everyone gets their heads together and oh okay, well I guess you know we need to change things around here. It's never it's never before. It's never before, you know, an eighteen year old loses its leg, you know. I didn't really care what kind of job I got as long as I got something where I was making decent money. I wanted, uh, I wanted everybody that worked there to be surprised in how good and efficient that I worked. You know, maybe I was, maybe I was trying to work too hard, not realizing what I was getting myself into. Well, the night of the accident, it was uh, a rainy and cold night. I had uh, just finished cleaning up and I was ready to get off the machine, but this machine was uh, about six feet or higher in the air and I had to jump off. There wasn't a safe way of me getting in and out of the machine. And I had turned myself around. In the midst of that, I guess I slipped and I got my leg caught in the chain. I just got a pair of brand new coveralls I was gonna you know, go to work and have a nice new clean uniform and you know, I'm getting sucked into this machine. Very scared getting sucked in. I knew, you know, this whole time I was trying to pull myself out of this, you know, but just, there's no, there's no way. I think the only thing I was really scared of was when I was getting sucked in as if I was going to be alive when it went through my head. I think your mind's so set on, no, this isn't happening. It was just too close to the, the roll feeder and my leg got caught in two pieces of metal that were about that close together, you know, I got sucked into about my thigh. I felt that nothing, you know, that I was all right. When I saw, you know, a light, and then that's it, the machine just stopped. I think maybe, maybe it was uh, an angel from heaven, just... I could have saw, I could have looked up and saw my leg, but I was so scared to what it would look like to me, you know. They didn't teach my son the safety um, around the equipment and the machinery that he um, used in the course of his job. And I could have been scratched off this planet, right, that easily. He was sacrificing and jeopardizing his own safety. My life wasn't into anybody's hands. In a split second, your life can change forever. <laughs>